Lana Scott Lighthouse. So guys, I've been meditating this morning and um, I burnt some incense and I cleaned my space up. <laughs> I've been working on my house for a couple of days. I got, oh, I forgot to put that underneath the bed. <laughs> um, I did what I was reading this morning. And, I, you know, like I told y'all, I'm focusing on the esoteric, on the spiritual side of the runes. Anything that was reversed got turned around. Um, there were a couple of them because I'm focusing on the spiritual, not on the mundane. Okay? So you have to look at this in a spiritual way. Okay? So overall, we have one Joe, which is talking about interconnectedness, spiritual well-being. And when I was meditating, I visually went over the whole world in my mind's eye. Okay? Because this is a reading for the healers overall the whole collective and I literally in my mind went over the whole globe to try to connect to anyone of mankind in general that needed to know this message so with one Joe we have we need to connect more with spirit on the inside a lot of more people healers in particular need to go inside and seek source seek Connecting with spirit on a on a psychic, emotional, mental in the ethers, um, seeking to find what spirit has to tell us what we need to do for the whole of mankind, the whole world, and everybody's on their own personal journey, right? I've been talking about inner journey here lately. Okay, so we're talking about your spiritual well-being and seeking out others who are of like mind who can share their messages that you can share yours with because as your soul and your spirit seeks to find others, your soul will grow because you will learn there is so much more knowledge there. Okay? So then on current energies, we have manas, we have ing, and we have tear. Manas means mankind, but it's your inner journey. It's growing and going within for mankind in general. Ing is realizing... Um, that everything is inside and when you go inside then you find balance you need to seek balance be totally selfish in that okay seek spirit to seek how to heal yourself to heal others okay and then just like Eve of Everlong Mystic Me Too, I am also wanting to know what do we then do with these energies, folks. And we have Gibu, and y'all know Gibu means to share. Because to get a gift means to give a gift. Their example that they use is an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. To give a gift, you have to get a gift. Or to get a gift, you have to give a gift. To give a gift, then you get a gift, okay? So that means you need to share. Whatever gifts you discover that you have on your own personal journey that you get from spirit, you share them with others. And in return, you also get gifts because you get more knowledge. You learn more. So open up to spirit to speak to you and share whatever gifts that you get. Everyone's on their own personal journey, which is where Rado comes in. It's your personal destiny. And you have to go within to find it. And you have to ask spirit to help you. And even if you know what your gifts are, Sometimes you'll get flashes, I, I in any way, get sometimes flashes of intuition of things that I know I need to share. Like I told y'all, I, I did a, just on the spur of the moment, I felt the need to do a personal reading for a friend. And I did it, and I sent it to her, and she was like, wow, we were just talking about that. So God is speaking through me. Spirit is speaking through me. My own intuition is, I guess that's where my gifts are opening up more. So are your gifts opening up more? Go within and seek Seek spirit, seek the answers, seek your own personal destiny to help heal the world, heal yourself, to help heal others. Because that's the only way we're going to have interconnectedness, to then connect with others, to help heal overall the world, guys. And I'm not talking about everybody trying to heal the world, but one person at a time. Okay, so that's where you have an opening come up. Spiral guidance, illumin illumin illumination from within. Look for your inner guidance. Listen, meditation, open up. So that then you, and look for spirit. Look for your connectedness to the overall source of mankind, spirit, the angels, your spirit guides, your ancestors, your passed on loved ones. So that, and listen, listen, 
for your own personal messages that you need to learn and grow from, share with others in exchange for their knowledge that when you listen to them and you talk about it or you, you know, I have a, a deal with my own personal spirit guides and angels that things will come up into my feed on my YouTube channel. Guys, I can't tell you what kind of different things that I've been getting lately, what kind of messages of healing and other channels and other um, just little bits and pieces here and there plus the dreams and the my own intuition opening up and I'm pretty sure other people are going through the same thing because we are all connected so even if you're confused or you're not sure what gifts you have I'm not sure what all my gifts are either but I'm willing to listen to spirit to send them to me I'm sorry guys there's motorcycles in the background and then we have gateway which you know is a is theory is is a gateway on the esoteric level, it means spiritual courage to protect the sacred. So when you do get your gifts, don't suffer the don't suffer suffer fools, people. If you if someone if, if someone's asking you stupid questions and you know that that that's not the right way to share the energies and how to use the energy, like I've been talking about lately, kicking more people to the curb, even newer people I've met that just don't aren't going to vibe with me because they're just. They're stuck in their own cycle of despair and, you know, you can't help somebody that does not want to be helped. So don't waste your energies either, folks, is part of the message I'm getting. Don't waste your energy on helping people that don't want to be helped. Help them a couple of times if you can. And if it doesn't seem like, you know, if it's negative or toxic, you have to walk away. Because going through this gateway with spiritual courage, the only way you can do that is to go within, is to go with spirit. Because when you go in and meet spirit and go forth with your destiny, you're more pure of heart. Your heart chakra opens, your crown chakra opens, and spirit comes through and lets you know that they that your angels, spirit guides, your ancestors um, are with you. And that's another message I've been getting too: is that there's more ancestors coming forth because, like I've told y'all before, about personal or family guardian angels that look through your family tree and as those special souls come into birth and come into this life they look for them and then now they become a new spirit guide for you when you get to that point where you need them they show up when the student is ready the teacher appears when the teacher is ready the students appear so guys that's also walking through this gateway to spirit so if you start feeling new energies around you is what they're telling me right now they're telling me if you feel new energies around you you need to pay attention because those are the ones that are going with you on your spiritual journey and they will help you use those energies that and those gifts that you were getting to share them on your personal destiny with that opening up that keenness that spiritual guidance and illumination within illumination within on your inner guidance you walk through that doorway with spirit and those ancestors and new spirit guides that are going to help you to heal other people and heal and find new knowledge to then go forth as a spiritual warrior so guys that's my message um, a lot of that was just channeled I did not pick up some of that when I was doing this sitting on all this so a lot of that was they just came in and told me that so guys um, new gifts are coming in go within to find them and go forth with spirit spirit is trying to talk to you and help you to help heal to heal yourself and how to use that energy to heal others all right guys that's my message for today um i hope this helped like um if you like this video or know someone that can use it like subscribe and share um if this is a big eye-opener for you, it sure as heck was for me because a lot came through that I was not even anticipating. So that's our message for today, guys. Lana Scott Lighthouse, be a light in the darkness, folks. There's a lot of dark out there, and the light, the glimmer is getting bigger and bigger. Let's share our knowledge and help other people to heal and help heal the world one person at a time. Be a light in the darkness.